we decided that uh, we were going to try and wean me off. Now, the process to wean off the medication, because it's not like Ritalin, which you found out through upsy downsies that you can just come off it on a day's notice. Uh, and there's no, well, there is withdrawal and there is side effects. There's no actual withdrawal per se. Um, yeah. It leaves your body that same day. But with SSRIs, if you come off it, because your brain essentially becomes dependent on it because it's working directly with brain chemistry and all things that I don't understand. Um, we don't, we need, we need to talk to a pharmacist. We need to talk to a pharmacist on well, an episode. As luck would have it, we have a pharmacist lined up to come don't on. Don't give soon. away too much. No, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying we have a pharmacist waiting in the wings for when we get our shit together to actually organize to have them come on and have a chat. Um, so yeah. definitely we, we will uh, talk about that. So that you mentioned, very... yeah, you, you mentioned SSRI, right? Serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Uh, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Yeah. Okay. So it inhibits the reuptake of serotonin selectively. Yeah. So essentially, um, serotonin gets reused in the brain. Now, this is a super, super layman version of that. Yeah. Um, it gets reuptaken into the brain. It gets reused. And as far as I understand it, that, that makes it less effective. So this medication blocks that from happening. So it forces the brain to, like, make more, I imagine. So you get fresh serotonin. Okay. Interesting. I think I'm probably yeah. very, very wrong. But that makes my brain able to understand it. Not, so. Yeah, not, not important. So the yeah. fact that it works is the important part. But exactly. Yeah, the interesting um, thing. I like stuff like that, you know, I like to understand how things work. So that'll definitely be an interesting conversation to have. Even if I understand it wrong, but it allows me to understand it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but what was I saying? Oh yeah. So the weaning process for an SSRI isn't in a matter of days. It's done typically in weeks and months. So yeah. I'm in a phase now. So it's going to be six to eight weeks before I'm actually off it. Um, I was on a full tablet a day. Uh, I'm now on half a tablet a day. And after two weeks, that's going to down to um, half a tablet every two days. And then it's going to be half a tablet a couple of times a week. And then it's going to be if I feel like I need it kind of thing. And then eventually just stop. Yeah. Um, and I guess with such a structured regimen of... Uh, reduction of the medication there's probably like really well documented expectations for each stage or something like that right to a degree um with the one i'm on um which is escitalopram or commonly known as lexapro um that's the one i'm on and there are some very common withdrawal side effects so and it's no it's very well documented so one of the first ones is digestive discomfort. Um, and I basically, I messaged you a couple of times <laughs> while we were like supposed to be recording or planning things. And I was like, can't because I'm like a busted fire hydrant um, from <laughs> places where I shouldn't be. <laughs> um, and that was happening for a few days. So I felt like I had a stomach bug. But yeah, yeah, yeah without any physical like discomfort or pain or anything like that. I was just water was coming in, water was going out. Yeah. Um, so that was a few days. There's been a few, like I've been really, really tired. Um, I'm only, I'm only off it, like not off it, but I've only reduced it for like four, four or five days now. Um, okay. but the symptoms are pretty harsh. Um, and have you noticed any difference in the anxiety? Not, not majorly per se. Um, I haven't noticed any increase in anxiety. I've not I have noticed a bit of like unease, but that's because I'm going through physical symptoms. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm uneasy about that. I don't feel any less or any more anxious, should I say? I don't feel any less at peace with myself, you know, okay. um, than when I started this. Um, there's a couple of just, I've already noticed some increases in the unmentionables. 
um, that have been quite nice, let's say. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> like, uh, I was coming along with you there <laughs> for that conversation. Oh, I know you were. <laughs> it was quite nice. We've uh, we've seen the the milk photo. We know you're coming along with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, so yeah, no, it's been it's currently being a journey, should I say? Um, Graham is on high alert because the pharmacist even said you're probably not going to be able to see the uneasiness and the antsiness, he'll mm-hmm. be the person that sees that. Um, okay. And there have been, there, were, there was actually, it wasn't an argument, but there was a tense discussion yesterday, I think it was, where there was a miscommunication and the that mis- miscommunication would have happened when I was off medication and it would have been a massive flare up. It would have been a huge blow up. Um, and he assumed it was happening and responded as if it was happening. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Where the fuck is this coming from? And he was like, yeah. oh, I thought you were going down this road. Carry on, all's good. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it was weird because that would have normally been a major situation and it just wasn't. Um, yeah. So I think he was almost kind of expecting that mm. he was going to see a massive increase in the way I used to be. Um, and he didn't, so that's nice. But it that's, again, it's an ongoing thing. It's still fairly early days. Um, but, yeah, that's uh, that's where I'm at. So, so far, it's looking nice. 